also wanted to know what can be done to prevent another homegrown terrorist attack. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski sat down with a Middle Eastern studies expert at DU who explains why there are no simple solutions in the ongoing threat of self radicalization. To Orlando, huh? More than 48 hours after shots rang out at this Orlando nightclub, and a lone gunman took the lives of 49 people. Nadir Hashemi says one thing is clear. We've, in many ways, have seen this story before. Hashemi is the director of Middle East Studies at Denver University. The parallels with the San Bernardino massacre are very um, poignant and direct. He's talking about how the couple in the San Bernardino shooting were both self radicalized and inspired by ISIS, but not directed by the terrorist group. In the same way, President Obama says the Orlando mass murderer was motivated by online extremist propaganda. One of the biggest challenges we are going to have is this kind of uh, propaganda. And that's incredibly difficult to stop because we live in a free society. Hashimi says because online radicalization is much harder for police to stop, ISIS is using these lone wolf attacks to wage war. Inspire people to stage attacks in their name as a way of sending a message. As ISIS continues to grow its online and social media propaganda. There is going to be further attacks of this nature, of this form, motivated by similar individuals. This is not ending anytime soon. Until we come up with a way to better track self-radicalization without giving up our rights as Americans. I don't think there's any quick fix here. I don't think there's any simple solution. Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. New developments are continuously emerging in the investigation into the Orlando terror attack, and you can count on Denver 7 to bring them to you on air and through our Denver 7 app.